Hey guys, you might ask Dan, why is it so dark in here? Because we're going to learn about biofluorescence and bioluminescence. Today we are going to discuss the difference between these two words. And of course guys, once we're done learning, in the second part of this episode I have a surprise. So stick around if you want to see some glowing fun. Hey guys, my name is Danny. My name is Dan. Let's play together. Let's have fun. Come join me now and grow with Dan. Do you ever ask yourself why and how do animals get their glow? If you saw a lightning bug or a firefly, that means you saw bioluminescent in action. That's so cool for you. I saw a lot of fireflies in my backyard once. Bioluminescence is a chemical process in which organism emits light. The light is produced by a compound called luciferin. When luciferin reacts with oxygen, it lights up. All bioluminescent animals contain luciferin. Some produce their own, when others, like squid and some fish, absorb bacteria that has luciferin in them. So guys, if you want to understand bioluminescence in simple words, it's just like cracking a glow stick. Now let's talk about biofluorescence. It's very simple, guys. When the organism um, absorbs light and then it transforms it into a different color. For example, guys, a scorpion. They use their exoskeleton to absorb the light and then re-emits it into a, a beautiful greenish glow like this cute guy right here. Guys, to sum things up and talk about these two different words. Bioluminescence is when the organism makes the light and biofluorescence where the organism absorbs the light. Guys, as I promised, let's get to the fun stuff. We're starting with two surprises. Let's get started with the fun. Come on. Surprise number one, Elmer's glow in the dark slime kit. Let's get started with this one. You're gonna need a bowl, a spatula, and a teaspoon. Okay, now let's open this box. We have Elmer's Magical Liquid. And we also have another one. We have Glow in the Dark Glue. And we have another Glow in the Dark Glue. But I want to use these two. So we can put these two back in the box. So guys, step one. We have to pour all of this into this bowl. Come on, let me open this. Let's go. Okay guys, this is gonna take years to do it. I know a better way. Let's see. We're gonna open the lid and smush it up. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God, guys, it's the fattest. Guys, it took me a while putting all the Elmer's glue inside, but now I got the scoop in. Now, I have, it says here I have to put add two teaspoons of Elmer's magic liquid. Let's do it. Here. So two teaspoons. One. Two. The main key now is constant mixing. Quick, come on. So now we're mixing it. Do you hear that sound? It's gooey. Ugh. Guys, I finished that bottle. Now let's get dirty. Yeah, look at all this. This is so much fun. Here guys, listen to this. Look, you want to try some? Here you go. 
Is that fun? Cool. Now watch this. I'm gonna have evil hands. Ah, evil hands. This is so much fun, guys. Okay, guys. Now we have to keep. Let's keep needing it and play with it. I can wait for my little brother at home, and then we can play with it together. He would be so happy. Guys, I hope you had fun with our blown the dark slime, but it's time for a surprise part two. Are you ready to make our own bouncy balls? Let's get to it. It's time to gather your materials, guys. Come on. So we're gonna need one fourth cup of boiling water. We're gonna need half of ta tablespoon borax. We're gonna need two tablespoons of Elmore's clear glue, but I'm gonna do glow in the dark glue. Step one, make the borax solution by adding borax into the boiling water. Stir well, set aside to cool. So my mom already did that for me, so we can skip this step two. Now guys, we're gonna add two tablespoons of glue into the bowl. Guys, we're gonna add one teaspoon of borax mixture into here and then keep mixing it until it's very hard. Let's add one. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna mix until it gets very hard. I put all the stuff now. Let's try kneading it. I'm using the spoon to un to a smooth, uneven part. See, now it's getting smooth and equal. Since this is a homemade ball, it won't be perfect as a round circle like other bouncy balls. But let's see what the best I can do. Guys, I had so much fun in this episode. I don't know which one I like better, the slime or the bouncy ball. Which one do you like? Do you like the stretchy slime? Or do you like the bouncy ball? If you like this video, check my other videos I have. I'm signing out. Keep glowing. Bye. See you in my next one. We learned, we played, had lots of fun. Subscribe and like. My name is Dan.